Welcome to Dakota Starry Nights. In this episode, we're going to tackle on the problem of getting the Scout X4 or Tally 500 props balanced. Now the problem you run into is that these props have a cap here on the end. And so you're unable to get a balancing rod clear through. And I use the uh, Dubro balancer like a lot of you out there use. But you run into the problem with any of these balancers of being able to get this rod dead center. And that's the key. Because if you don't have it dead center, if you pull it off the rod and then put it back on, you'll find that your balance is going to be off. Because every time you put it on, it's going to be a little bit different and so it's difficult to get it truly balanced. Now there's a couple of approaches that people take and one is to put tape at the end of this and then just try to get that roughly centered. But you're still going to be off and it's impossible to get it dead center. I've even tried taking a wooden dowel as you can see here drilling a hole in the middle of it and then putting a little bit, bit of tape inserting that in there and that gives you a nice snug fit and so it's at least consistent in that way. But if you look real closely, you could see that that's still not dead center. You get a little bit of wobble there. So that didn't work. Because every time I would remove this and then put the prop back on, the balance would always be off. And then finally it occurred to me, and once I show you this, you'll probably say the same thing. Why didn't I think of that before? Uh, if you look inside the prop, deep down inside there, there's a dimple. And that dimple is dead center on the hub. And the trick is to do this on a drill press. But what happens is at the bottom, it's beveled like this. It comes to a bevel. And then there's a dimple in the middle. So if you start out with a 332nd bit and get this centered on a drill press as close as you can and then slowly lower the bit down in there without the drill press running. Allow the bit to slide down the side walls of that bevel where it's beveled at the base. If this is the bevel here, allow that bit to come in and then slide down the side like that till it finds center. 332nd bit will find center. And then once it finds center, go ahead and drill through it. And then start up your drill press and run through. And that'll give you the first hole. So then change your bit out of your drill press and put a 1 8 inch bit there. Get it centered in the hole that's pre-drilled, pretty much using the same technique. And then you'll slide into that pre-drill hole. You'll come out with a dead center hole in the hub of this prop. Okay, so first we're going to start off with a 332nd bit and put it in the chuck. You know, any drill press will work. It doesn't have to be a, one of this size. And the main thing to do is check and make sure it's dead center underneath there. Because when you got a small bit like that, it has a tendency to either go to the left or the right into the chuck. And give it a spin. There it is. Make sure that when it turns around she's nice and dead center because that's the main thing. Now I've got like a 3 8 inch dimple down in here. Um, you could drill that out with a drill bit or if you got one of these countersink deals uh, that will give you a place for the hub here to uh, set in so that it stabilizes. So we're going to get that in there holding it with our hands like that but you're going to want to be standing up high so that you're able to look down into the prop so you could see if the bit is really hitting down in the center. Now it's off to my right. You see how it moved it over and it wants to get in there and so just kind of let it find the bottom there. It'll go down the side you're not going to be touching the threaded part. This is, happens past where the threads are. Now I'm going to slide this over a little bit to kind of exaggerate it so you can see what I'm talking about. And let go of it and watch.
So you don't find center. And then take a good look at it down in there. Just bump it. Now you're doing this without starting it because you just want to make sure she's center. Hold it with your two fingers. Fire it up. Go slow. Give it time to find center in case it moves a little bit. Allow it to move around. And then once you feel she's center, then go ahead and slowly push it through. And that's it. Okay? Now you can see here, we're nice and center there. You start that out with a 332nd bit. A small bit will allow you to slide down to the bottom of it. If you start it out with a one inch inch bit from the get go, then what will happen is you could wind out being off center. So our next bit will be the actual bit that's going to accommodate the Duo Pro rod, which is a one eighth inch bit. We'll put that in there and give it a little bump, make sure it's spin center. You want to make sure your drill bits are straight, you know, because if they're wobbly, you're going to get a hole that's off. So I'll hold it over here so you can see. Just kind of bumping around. There. So that it finds center. Then hold it with two fingers. And slowly drill in there. Make sure it finds center. Let it, let it shift if it needs to. And there it is. That's all there is to it. So now you can get your blades balanced consistently every time. Okay, so let's get them balanced. Now this works with the Tally or the X4. And so now, and I've tested this out and done four props already and put them back on and each time the balance maintains no matter where I put them. So then what you're going to do is here you have the rod and here's the stopper right there so you put that cone there take this and look at this. Okay? That centers perfect on that. And now you take this other cone put it like that put it up against on the flat side put your spring take the washer and now take the rubber gasket and this prop has already been balanced snug it up and now you're dead center okay so once we put it on the rod uh, we balance it and this one's already been balanced and as you can see we turn it that way she stays, turn it like that, she stays, come around, she stays, flip it over, and let's see, get it level, stays, go like that, and it stays, and like that, and it stays. It's about the only way that you can make it consistent. The tape and dowels of this sort it just introduces too much error and so I just wanted to share that and if you use another prop that has an end cap on it if you look down inside if it has that beveled shoulder coming in like that with a little uh, smaller dimple in the middle that technique should work as well and you could just uh, drill it out and another thing I like to do if your rod gets bent you know handling throwing it in the box it's gonna definitely throw out the balance so I take an eye case holder put that rod in there so that it stays uh, protected uh, so it doesn't get bent so that's something you know you could pick up at any department store or drug store or what have you so there it is clear skies and thanks for watching Dakota Starry Nights